Hello, I'm Timothy Addis. I've translated some poems by Ricarda Huch, very distinguished woman, German writer, novelist, essayist, historian and poet. The poems are from the end of her life, about 1945. She was the first woman to win the Goethe Prize. and She resigned from the Prussian Academy in 1933. And at the end of her life, 1947, she presided at the All-German Writers' Conference. St John and the Eagle, a sketch by Van Dyck. Flaming is the youth's attire, flaming is his crest and crown. Flashing to the earthly fire, heaven speeds its eagle down. And the flash falls on the ear of the chosen one with fear. In the house of clay is heard the imperishable word. The Lime Tree The lime tree, crowned by glorious morning sun, stands motionless, fearing perhaps some light may be foregone, if but one twig, one tiny leaf, should start. Thus, when sweet shining glory round me passed, Touched by your hands or by your smile's caress, I stood stock still, as when a spell is cast, Yet I was shaken to my inmost heart. The statue, where ships have kept away, A southern port, smelling of fish and of decay, In the old crumbling market see it stand, The statue to a rapt musician's fame, his fiddle like a sceptre in his hand. Who can recall his name? The sea things flop in baskets at his feet, greed shouts and haggles, guile sells short. His melody by love was speeded, and over tramps and victuallers unheeded rang out so tragic sweet. They camped around him through the night in choirs, the screech of gulls, the storm wind loud, the moon, the sea, the cosmic fires. From muscle depths the very trump proceeded. He was the hub, the music maker, bowed. The Night Schaumburg, gravestone by Riemann Schneider. Is it the leaving of life, night, or the yearning to die? darkens that notable brow? Did fortune offer you dross? Did you endure to your loss odious duty and strife? Victory's palm you abjured, offered to many a shield, far of the faithful aglow. Heaven said never a word, all you held dear was laid low, friendless in forest and field. You from the dull round of days, fled to the balm of the blest, suffered, yet not to atone, innocent, freed from the maze, leaving the cry you suppressed, frozen and hardened to stone. Feast of the Dead in the twelve holy nights of storm and squall, I drank in love and friendship to the dead. I asked if they still thought of me at all, that they, like swarms of sparks, raced overhead. Come, let us see you loved and glorious. I think that after bitter loss, at last those times returned, when you drew breath with us, rejoiced, and lived in light, the good times past. There is remembrance in this cup I drink. I drink it for the dead, this cup of love, and once again to sombre dreaming sink, till in the grate the crisp flames cease to move. Finally, I love the hour of the last glow of light when heaven turns to elderflower white and all that was divided is at one, seeing no sense in quarrel and affray. 
blurred are the hamlets on the brown hills steep. The jarring cries of day are doused in sleep. The peaks become a sea whose billows run quiet and dark and mighty on their way.